In a world shrouded in mystery and wonder, there existed a dojo nestled amidst the towering trees of an ancient forest. It was here that the echoes of wisdom resonated through the rustling leaves, carried on the gentle breeze that whispered secrets of enlightenment to those who dared to listen. At the heart of this dojo was a master, a sage whose presence commanded reverence and whose teachings transcended the boundaries of time itself. His name was whispered in hushed tones, spoken with the reverence reserved for legends, for he was known far and wide as a guardian of truth and a beacon of light in a world consumed by darkness. And so it was that one fateful day, a young student stood at the threshold of the dojo, his heart pounding with anticipation as he prepared to embark upon a journey that would forever alter the course of his destiny. His name was Kai, a seeker of truth, a dreamer of dreams, and it was to the master that he looked for guidance in his quest for enlightenment. The master, a figure cloaked in mystery and wisdom, greeted Kai with a serene smile, his eyes twinkling with the light of understanding. Welcome, young one, he said, his voice a soothing melody that seemed to dance upon the air. Come, sit with me, and together we shall unravel the mysteries of the universe. And so Kai sat, his heart open and his mind eager as the master began to weave a tapestry of knowledge that stretched beyond the boundaries of comprehension. He spoke of the power of the mind, of the boundless potential that lay dormant within each and every soul, waiting to be awakened by the light of awareness. As the days turned into weeks, Kai drank deeply from the wellspring of wisdom that flowed from the lips of the master. He learned of the importance of focus, of discipline, and above all, of vision, for it was through the clarity of vision that one could pierce the veil of illusion and behold the truth that lay hidden beneath. And so it was that one crisp morning, as the sun cast its golden rays upon the forest floor, the master called upon Kai to accompany him on a journey deep into the heart of the wilderness. They walked in silence, their footsteps echoing through the ancient grove as they made their way to a clearing bathed in the soft glow of dawn. It was there, amidst the tranquil beauty of nature, that the master revealed his purpose to impart upon Kai a lesson that would forever alter the course of his destiny. With a graceful flourish, he produced a bow and a quiver of arrows, his movements fluid and precise as he prepared to demonstrate the art of archery. But there was something different about this demonstration, something that stirred a sense of curiosity within Kai's soul. For as the master took aim at a distant tree, he beckoned Kai to blindfold him with a silken scarf, his smile serene and unwavering as he surrendered himself to the darkness. With trembling hands, Kai bound the scarf around the master's eyes, his heart pounding with a mixture of awe and trepidation. He watched in silence as the master drew back his bow, his movements guided by a force that transcended the limitations of sight. And then, with a flick of his wrist, the master released the arrow, his breath a whisper upon the wind as it soared through the air, a silent messenger of destiny in search of its target. For a moment, time stood still as Kai waited with bated breath, his senses heightened by the anticipation of what was to come. And then, with a soft thud, the arrow found its mark, striking true against the heart of a flower that bloomed amidst the branches of the distant tree. As Kai removed the blindfold from the master's eyes, he was met with a gaze that seemed to pierce through the very fabric of his being. Tell me, young one, the master spoke, his voice a gentle breeze that stirred the leaves above, did I hit the mark? But Kai hesitated, his mind awash with confusion as he struggled to comprehend the truth that lay before him. For though the arrow had found its target, it had done so without the guidance of sight, without the clarity of vision that he had come to believe was essential to success. And so he spoke, his voice trembling with uncertainty as he recounted the events that had transpired. Master, he said, his words a whisper upon the air, you did not hit the flower, nor did you strike the tree. The arrow, it vanished into the depths of the forest, lost to sight and sound. But the master's smile remained unchanged, his eyes twinkling with the light of understanding as he gazed upon Kai with a sense of profound clarity. Ah, but you see, my dear student, he said, his voice a gentle melody that danced upon the wind. The target was never the flower, nor was it the tree. It was something far greater, far more profound. It was the essence of truth, the very heart of enlightenment itself. 
And then, as if to illustrate his point, the master gestured toward the horizon, where the sun hung low in the sky, its rays casting a golden glow upon the world below. In life, as in archery, the true target lies not in the objects that we see before us, but in the vision that guides our hand, the purpose that drives our soul. And so it was that Kai came to understand the true meaning of the master's words, for he realized that the journey toward enlightenment was not one of sight, but of insight, a journey that began within the depths of the soul and ended in the boundless expanse of the universe itself. And as he stood there, bathed in the light of understanding, Kai knew that he had embarked upon a journey that would forever alter the course of his destiny. For he had dared to see, dared to believe, and above all, dared to dream, and in doing so, he had discovered the true essence of life itself. And so, dear listener, remember the words of the Master, for they hold the key to unlocking the boundless potential that lies within each and every one of us. Dare to see your target, dare to believe in your dreams, and above all, dare to live, for it is in daring that we discover the true beauty of existence itself. Thanks for watching Inner House. Stay well, keep well.